Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pajeda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Well, there's always a special feeling when Hamzat Shumayev makes the walk, whether at welterweight or at middleweight. This man has proven to be a real problem and really has lived up to all the hype and then some dating to his 2020 UFC debut. It's so hard for you to meet expectation, much less exceed it. Right. Hamzat Shumayev has exceeded the expectations set for him when he made his UFC debut. He has been nothing short of a buzzsaw, just going through guys at a rate that not anyone could have expected. What a fantastic fighter we get to watch every time we see Hamza in the optimum. And of course, many people harken back to the Gilbert Burns fight in 2022, the consensus fight of that year in which Chimaev was challenged and still rose to the occasion. We'll see how he fares tonight. tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> referee for this one. Alright, so here we go with the stand-up only encounter. We'll see if these guys can play by the rules. Not many rules, but you can't grapple at all. No wrestling of any kind. You also are not permitted to do follow-up strikes on the floor. We are underway. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook and kickbox it to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pajeda is a master of it. Looking to establish the jab here, nicely done by Hamza Chimaya. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything. You don't really stand after you 
take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is the jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Shimaev's lower jab. Oh! oh, he's got him hurting here. Oh, big left. Under two minutes to go. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now. He's got to start to protect him. Back to the feet now. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra. Oh! And that'll do it! Alex Pereira with one of the greatest knockouts you will see! Yo! Wow! That was nasty! Bruce Buffer to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 51 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. All right, so it is a leg. PlayStation.